I'm a bug guy. I like bugs. Moths, cockroaches. Things like earthworms and snakes. When we started this whole project, we were deemed kind of crazy people. Who would have thought <coughs> this and this could help create better robots? The best robots today are actually very much inspired by the animal systems. Like the warm and fuzzy cockroach. Meet the cockroach blabberous discoid owls. Biology professor Roy Ritzman knows cockroaches inside and out. They're very complex animals, and what they can do and what they can control makes it very difficult for you to catch a cockroach. Ritzman's research has inspired a series of robots in Roger Quinn's biorobotics lab, funded in part by the United States Department of Defense. Ultimately, our military wants robots that can think on their own. Ritzman has set up a system to record neural activity while a cockroach walks. By understanding how this guy controls his movements in a complex environment, we may be able to control robots autonomously. Crawling robots could assist the military with search and rescue and surveillance on the ground, and tiny flapping robots could be flying spies for the United States Air Force. The inspiration is this tobacco hornworm moth, one of the best flying machines Mother Nature has to offer. They fly slow, they hover, they can fly backwards. Um, they're sort of like an insect helicopter. Professor Mark Willis is collaborating with our Air Force to study the secrets of this moth's flight. We can actually mount wire electrodes in their flight muscles and study how the nervous system is activating their flight muscles while they're really flying. The Air Force wants a micro air vehicle with a wingspan just less than six inches. It just happens to be the right size bug to match the next step in little flying robots. The really, really difficult problem right now is power. You're clear for departure. Revving up insects is what's driving electrochemist Dan Sherson. Can you just take uh, an organism and convert the chemicals that it produces into electricity? The answer is yes. Sherson's team implanted a biofuel cell in a cockroach, powered by the bug's own natural sugar, without harming the cockroach in any way. Sherson's next step is to implant tiny sensors into the roach so it could be used as a first responder. Like in bioterrorism, these crawling guys can pick up the signals and then broadcast them to the outside. So it's like having an autonomous, self-powered sensor. A robot that could fly. A robot that could spy. How about a robot that could do the worm? I'm a worm! One of the amazing things about worms is that they don't have a brain in the sense that we think of a brain, yet they have this very robust method of locomotion that works in the most challenging environments. Imagine a worm bot that can crawl through rubble and deliver food and water. Engineering grad student Alex Boxerbaum helped create a robot that captures a worm's continuous wave of motion. And by doing that, we capture uh, a lot of properties that allow the robot to not slip over terrain. Biologists, engineers, and chemists collaborating on research to save lives.